Hey guys. Today's spicy video is the Balo quest. It seems like an interesting idea of a quest. Hopefully it will have some good dialogue. I'm going into this blind so I buffed my 140 Balo with more agility since that's the biggest weakness he has. Qatar VC has a 12% bestowed agility. Secret Orders also has bestowed agility as well as slash attack up and critical damage. I have a plus 6 Brigantine Armor, Blood Sword, Saiga Gauntlet, and Odin Esper. Just some of my best gear since this quest is about a strong Balo. I could have had some Trustones, but I doubt it's necessary for a quest like this. Well, time to see what this quest is all about. Okay, so no introduction about this supposed ultimate Balo. What's funny is that I have never actually like heard Balo's voice lines before. Keep going. Here I go! Here I go! Are you even trying to aim? Oh, divine protection. Maybe I made Balo too strong. I think we've earned a victory feast tonight. Actually, that's some good rewards there. On to the next quest, looks like Curry is involved. It seems the rewards are pretty good from these quests. Like getting 5 Blossoms of Paradise is very good. I do have to say, I was thinking that these quests would have some dialogue as to what or why this Balo is different. I think most people thought this was going to be some sort of isekai. I won't let you go it seems like these quests are from the story mode, and we are playing them as Balo instead of a full team. I like that we are getting materials and free leveling items to basically get a free 140 unit. But I would have liked to see just a texted dialogue about what's going on. Just something to make this a little bit more fun to remember. The only thing I could find what is going on as far as a little story was some information in the quest details. Not bad. Our next quest looks like it's the Snake Miraga boss battle. I'm just going to let it run on auto. I'm sure my Bloodsword is going to carry most of this fight. Let's hurry I want to say attack. thank you to everyone that's like watching it. this video. Everyone Your support has pushed this channel past 600 subscribers. Ouch. Lately, I've been doing a lot of Mr. Sprinkles art as different that characters. A lot of people seem to enjoy them, I'm also still working on the next Legendary Reliquaries quest. It just takes a lot of patience and time. So stay tuned in for that video when it comes out. Perhaps I should have used bells for this quest to make the clear faster. Since I have a 140 Bela, I am considering using him in PvP. I'm curious how he would perform in a high level fight. If anyone wants to see him in the top 1000 arena, comment down below and I will try to make that happen. Here I go! Maybe I can make a 3 man team with no UR units. I'll crush you! I can't imagine how angry or surprised I would be if I lost to a team like that. that hurts. Here I go! Now I will keep going! That hurts! It's not too great of an award this time, but it's still something. It looks like Sadali is the next boss. This quest might be difficult since it's a wind versus earth, especially since Balo is weak to magic. Yeah, Sadali is probably going to hit for a lot of damage during this fight. 
I could see some people having to do this manually, but for now, I'll just go auto and see what happens. Finish this. Here I go. You like this one. Here I go. The blood sword is really saving me from dying here. Here I go. You should do it. Open your eyes to the truth. Why you? Yeah. Super close. We've earned a victory feast tonight. Oops, it looks like I failed a mission. It seems like it's only four missions. What do y'all think? Was there a missed opportunity here with some of this not having a story? Or was it not even necessary, and what we got was good enough? Personally, I like the idea of giving basically a free 140. This could encourage players into doing selection quest. But I am disappointed because I hyped up myself, thinking this was going to have some sort of funny isekai story. Thanks for watching.